this is another FOA YouTube video, this time a hands-on video on terminating fiber optic cables with Panduit OptiCam pre-polished splice connectors. The hardware and the connectors were kindly donated to the FOA by Panduit so we could do this video for you. Before we started, we got a copy of the Panduit instruction sheet, F5015, which is very detailed in showing the processes involved in terminating with this connector. We recommend that whenever you do any fiber optic connector, especially a pre-polished splice type, that you get a copy of the manufacturer's recommendations and detailed instructions and follow those to the letter. That's really the only way to ensure consistent results. This is the uh, kit to do the Panduit OptiCam connectors, the special OptiCam termination tool, fiber strippers, a cleaver, set of scissors in case we need it, this patch cord connects to the termination tool and carries the visual fault locator to the connector which will be terminating. I have a set of instructions including a guide to how long to strip the fibers and I have cleaning solution which we'll use for cleaning the fiber. And that's all we need so let's get started and do a connector. Before we get started, we need to assemble the tool. This is our SC, Sam Charlie adapter, which we place in the tool. And we have a patch cord, which we use to connect the visual fault locator, which will help us optimize the splice. And we attach that to the VFL output on the tool here. Next, we put the connector in the tool. We take the dust cap off on each end and place the connector in the tool and then connect up our VFL patch cord. Now we're ready to strip the fiber. Before we strip the fiber, we put the boot on the fiber and then we'll strip about 1.2 inches of the buffer off the fiber. Next, we uh, clean the fiber with an alcohol-soaked pad to prepare it for cleaving. Place the fiber in the cleaver. These cleavers take a little bit of technique, but you can get to the point you're pretty good at them. You bring the tool down against the fiber, pull it back, and it will cleave. There's a uh, fiber shard in the cleaver right now. We'll leave it there and clean it up when we're finished. Next, we take the tool and we squeeze the levers to open the jaws and insert the fiber in the connector. and then let the jaws clamp on the fiber. We then move the stage back to put a little bit of pressure on the fiber. You can see the bow. That makes sure that the fiber is pushed in against the mechanical splice joint and the connector. We turn on the laser 
and we make sure that we don't see too much light there. And then we just reach over and using the little cam on the connector, we make the connection. And that's all it takes. Just takes a minute. And it seems to work very, very well, and it's a very easy process to learn. When we're finished, we pull the VFL off and turn it off. Pull our connector out, open the jaws, slide the boot up on the connector. And then push the connector into the body. And there we are, a finished SC connector. Only takes a minute. We're the FOA, the Fiber Optic Association, the International Professional Society of Fiber Optics. Be sure you take time to look around the FOA YouTube channel page at all the other videos available from the FOA. There are more than 80 of them available right now. We hope you find them informative.